hey everyone welcome back to my channel so this is my client returning with her nails they've been on for six weeks and we're going to revamp them into this and if you want to see how keep on watching so i start off and i have removed all of the old design with my atwood industry tornado bit and now I'm going in with their Skyvat and just doing all of my cuticle prep, making sure to get right in them sidewalls and all around that cuticle area, making sure you're removing any dead skin off that nail plate. Super, super important to do. And then went ahead and made everything flush, applied my dehydrator and my primer, and now I'm just going straight in and infilling these nails. Um, it was really, really hot today, so the acrylic was set in quite quickly. Um, so I ended up just using my acrylic a little bit wetter than I would usually just to compensate for the fact that it um, dried so fast. Today I'm using my Alpha number 8 brush and it is overall and you can find a discount code for 10% off in the description box for their brushes. Um, I did have to add a few more beads as well because it was an all acrylic design and I didn't apply clear underneath it. I had to remove quite a lot of that design. Um, so the nails were quite thin <clears throat> so rather than leave them really thin and weak um, I went ahead and applied more acrylic where needed especially at the stress point because they were so overgrown and I had to file them down so thin um, especially with sculpted nails you want to make sure all of them side walls and the bits that are so easy to miss are really strong and you've sealed them properly with your acrylic application just so your client can go away and their nails will last just as long as her previous set. So when I'm doing infills, I really want to focus on getting my acrylic application really flush to that natural nail. Um, you want it to look as though it's grown straight out from that matrix and it is all natural and there are no ridges um, and really, really flush. And that way you're going to limit lifting. I still get lifting. I really struggle with infills, getting it super flush. Um, I definitely need to up my training on that because it's something that just fills me with dread <laughs> because any little bit of lifting that you leave on and then you infill could result in greenies on your client's nails and I know I say this often but it is so important to get them really flush and blended and clean. Um, you definitely don't want to be giving your clients any nasty stains on their nails because they certainly won't come back. So if anyone's got any tips on how to get that super flush, then please let me know or how I can eliminate lifting in the first place because I really try hard with my prep um, and I really try hard with my application. Um, but yeah, there's always a little bit of lifting. So anyway, I went ahead, filed, shaped and buffed and removed all of the dust. You don't want to leave any on the nails at all, especially when you're applying a gel polish because you will just end up with like itty bitty horrible gel and the application won't look smooth. Um, I'm going in here and I'm using Madame Glam's Twilight, Twilight Lilac. It is just a gorgeous mauve beautiful colour, really, really classy. Um, I really, really loved the colour of these nails. And I'm just going to apply this onto the nails. You can see that I could probably got away with one coat. The coverage on this gel polish is immense. Like most of the colours cover in one coat. But I always give two just to make sure it is opaque all around the entire surface of that nail. Because you don't want to apply your first coat thick and then it result in chipping. So I do like to keep my coats thin and then go back and apply a second coat as well. And I do have my French brush with some isopropyl alcohol at the ready if I do um, go over that cuticle area or any on the skin and then I would just wipe that away with that brush. 
making sure to get all around the edges as well because sometimes the sides of the nail can be missed and it just doesn't look good. And now I'm going in with my second coat and just repeating the same process. When I'm doing with that and that is fully cured, I'm going in and applying um, one thin coat of CJP Top Gloss and I am making sure that I am capping all of the edges to really seal that um, gel polish in. After the top coat was cured, I'm going to go in with Tones Chrome Pigment. I'm just going to apply this with a eyeshadow applicator onto the two middle fingers. I will then apply another coat of top coat, cure for 15 seconds, so a part cure, and then I'll go back in with another top coat and then fully cure for the full 60 seconds, just so the, the second coat of um, top coat has something to stick to. And now you're seeing me just removing that excess pigment. Going in with my cuticle oil to replenish all the nutrients that we've dehydrated out and that is the finished service. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did please give a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please do. I love you all, bye!